Yeah, today we'll be talking about birds. This is the time when the birds evolved from a reptile into the modern day bird. And you can see the whole family tree from the early days where it was still a dinosaur. They've, this is a pterosaurus. And the evolutionary origin of birds has always been a subject of considerable debate. Birds and flying reptiles have delicate, lightweight skeletons which do not fossilize well. Hindering studies on how the birds evolved. First, bird fossil to be found was a feather which was discovered in 1860 in a limestone quarry in Bavaria. The feather was given the name Archaeopteryx, which was the Greek for ancient feather. A year later, an almost complete skeleton of Archaeopteryx was discovered in the same quarry, with feathers and other fine structures preserved in minute detail. The skeleton also showed several features which are in intermediate between reptiles and birds, suggesting that the bird and other birds evolved from a dinosaur similar to the Velociraptor. Featured in the film Jurassic Park, seven partial or complete Archaeopteryx skeletons have now been found and are still among the most famous and scientifically valuable fossils. And this is the difference between an eagle bird and a human bone. As you can see, both bones are hollow, unlike humans, which are filled with muscles. Oh, no, sorry, not muscles, but filled with marrow. And a bird can move from four directions. Either it lifts from the air currents or it puts on weight to fall down. It moves forward or drags behind with the wing propulsions. And it's feathers that make the bird different from the rest of the animals in the animal kingdom. These are contra feathers and these are down feathers which keep the bird warm. Birds are also defined by their beaks and feet. And they have different bird beaks and feet depending on the type of birds they are. Some which are hunting birds are more have beaks that are sharper for tearing into meat. Wild birds that eat seeds tend to have shorter beaks for picking up seeds and insects. The living water tend to have webbed feet. Wild birds that f are um, living trees have more long-fingered nails, which help them with um, staying on the branch. And here's a, what kind of waterfowl that specializes in swimming. And this is the common loon, and you can see the baby right here on the back. And here are greaves, which are another kind of water bird. And this is a pelican, which is famous for its very large beak, particularly here where it catches a large amount of water, fish and water in the same time. And here is a pelican flight. This is how birds glide in the air. They go fall down along with the air current and then they rise in a spiral with the air current and then they fall down again and repeat.